Hello, dear friends. It's so good to be here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your love and your support right here. This is Saffron Media, and we are here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable, and authentic sizzling hot gist in Nigeria, especially in the area of politics and many more. So ensure you stay tuned, relax, and enjoy, and get the best right from here. Yes, don't forget that the APCs uh, had a little bit of confusion over the weekend as uh, some of the stakeholders were uh, not invited for their stakeholders meeting during the weekend and this has actually caused a lot of confusion you know that uh, the minister uh, of the uh, minister of interior Regbe Shola, that is the former governor of Oshun state and uh, the former governor of Lagos state uh, Fashola were not invited for the meeting and that alone you know they had a, a very uh, uh, a good time in the in the meeting because they said it wasn't intentional not to invite them because uh, it was revealed that they said consequently they would invite them that the present moment that they would not really need their inputs but as time goes on they will call them back but you know uh professor akim actually said something very important about their meeting. He said, even though you are from the Southwest, whatever meeting you have, always have the interest of the Yorubas at heart. That is from Professor Akin Toye. He said they should have the interest of Yorubas at heart. They shouldn't forget that it is still their land, irrespective of whatever party they have decided to join. Remember that most of the southwestern states of the country are from the APC and most of the governors are APC governors. So really, uh, they shouldn't put the their party interest first before uh, their land because at the end of the day, the party can be dissolved, but they, their land, wherever they come from, will still remain. So he has advised that every one of them should ensure that they still have the interest of the Yorubas at heart. Yet, yes, he hasn't said anything wrong right there. But let me put it more in the way he has actually said this because, you know, he's one of those who have been fighting and agitating for a Yoruba nation. He, he said, irrespective of whatever a party or affiliate you belong to, you should have the interest of the Yorubas at heart. He's one of the agitators himself and uh, uh, Sunday Igbo who has been working tirelessly to ensure that there is a Yoruba nation. And so many other governors have also been saying that they should calm down and wait because things will get better in the country. But let us hear what uh, Professor Akinto Ye has to say about uh, their meeting, about the APC uh, meeting they had on Sunday. More details, guys, but please ensure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, and ensure you like and share our videos. All right, guys, without further ado, it says uh, Akinto Ye wants APC leaders Yes, what is it warning them for? To desist from bringing down the Yoruba people. Yes, the president, Ilana Omo Odua, Professor Banji Akintoye, has warned the APC leaders that attended the Southwest Forum meeting on Sunday in Lagos not to stand against the interests of the Yoruba. In a statement on Monday, Akintoye said, It is a pity that in rejecting the Yoruba nation state and clinging to Nigeria, they have taken a decision which they are certain to regret. He said, My prayer is that when they come to regret it, they will have the courage to change it and thereby reestablish themselves in the swelling current of Yoruba thought, Yoruba desire, and Yoruba expectation. Yes, I hope that uh, they are really working things out to ensure that there is a better uh, Nigeria for everyone because Akintoye is more pressed on ensuring that there is a Yoruba nation than a Nigeria standing as unity or as one. But, uh, you know, everything can still work well that the whole of Nigerians can still be one. Like some people will say that Nigeria has never been one. Yes, agreed, but we have always been able to live in peace and unity yes even if there's no much unity even among siblings there's always a time for a serious
serious fights, even among couples that are very close, there's a time where they still have to have their own fight. So that might just be one of those moments, but I believe that it can still be a one Nigeria. There can still be a Nigeria that enjoyed peace and unity. Yes, also remember that the APC had their meeting and some people were excluded. Not just that alone, aside that of Aregbe Shola and uh, Fashola, remember that uh, that of Fayemi of Ekiti State and uh, uh, Ondo State Governor Rotimi Akirodulu also missed a meeting that was called by the All Progressive Congress in uh, the Southwest. This actually said that they went for other engagement. But, you know, one of their aid actually revealed something very, very, very uh, 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 surprising because he said something. He said that they don't want to be a part of those people who are uh, willing to push someone else's ambition all in the name of Southwest meeting. Well, we don't know what to believe. You know, sometimes these guys, they, they, they talk some things on the ground, not expecting that any aid will bring it to public. But sometimes, you know, these guys, they allow their emotions to be wild, their imagination. And before you know it, they just speak out and blow up things not even expected to be said outside of their normal uh, uh, meeting within themselves. But, you know, that was what happened. And he said that... Uh, the, the governor of Ikiti State did not attend that meeting because he does not want to be used to push someone else's ambition. You know, who are we talking about here? That is the uh, Jagaban, Asiwaju Bola Tinubu, because they believe the meeting was called for his sake, you know, just to uh, uh, be behind him for his ambition come 2023. We've all been hearing that he wants to run for presidency come 2023. But we don't know how true that is, though he has been doing some things on the ground. Remember the last time that he went to the north, that we saw Jagaban rice being shared amongst people in Kano and even Kaduna and some other states in the northern parts of the country. And when he was asked, he said, well, I don't know anything about that. Perhaps people that loves me and want me to run are doing all of this. Well, who is a fool who is stupid to receive or to listen to such blabbing that he is saying? But all the same, I know some people are not happy with Tinubu and they are not ready to support his uh, presidential ambition come 2023. So I believe he should just sit back. He's an old man, actually, so he should allow the younger ones to really rule instead of him coming back again and again, you know, just a recycle of old hacks, you know, coming in, going back and all of that. I think enough is enough. And uh, I think Nigerians should not take this lightly come 2023. They shouldn't try to recycle any old politician. Anyone who has been a politician in a country before should not even be allowed to run come 2023 because they are all terribly corrupt people. Well, Professor Akinto, you have said his part. Uh, whatever thing the APC is having, especially the Southwest leaders, they should always put in mind that the land is still theirs and they should do everything to protect their people and to protect their land than someone else's ambition that they are pushing for. Yes, that is very, very important. So he hasn't said anything wrong, and I believe they should support what uh, Professor Akinto has said. It is very important. So, my dear people, that is it from here. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to drop your, your comments and also give our video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.